and we're all very excited. It's been about a month since we've had a pastor. We've been praying a lot about this decision, and we're happy with the one that we've made. Good morning. Good morning. So pastor Wayne should be close today, right? Yeah, he should be here soon. I wonder where Pastor Nichols is now. Probably still in Vegas. Our old pastor, Judas Nichols, excuse me, Dr. Judas Nichols, ran off with Mildred from the 830 service. Vegas, baby! It was a shock to all of us. Toilet's clogged again. Ever since Nate brought his fondue fountain into the office, the toilet's been clogged pretty regularly. Hey, Carly. Yeah? Can you put a call in the custodial for the men's room? The toilets are clogged again. Will do. Hey, Nate, did you order the children's Christmas musical curriculum yet? I did. It should be in today. Good for you. So I was uh, studying to get my PhD in theology, but I hit a couple bumps along the way and got in some trouble. And somehow I ended up with the job of director of children's ministries. I'm super excited to be working with the kiddos here. I was recently hired to be the children's ministry intern. This has been my dream since God's Little Garden. Coach Presbyterian, this is Carly. How may I direct your call? Oh, hi, Pastor Kaufman. Oh, yeah. I'll transfer you to Ned right now. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, what do you want? Oh, Pastor Kaufman on line one? Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah, you'll be here in 15 minutes? Um, yeah, well, that's too bad, because um, I'm just heading out of the office right now. So excited about the new pastor. Not! Because the last one was totally replaceable. Ned and Judas had a very special relationship. They're always playing these weird games. I was never invited. Bogey coming to the southwest entrance approximately 23 miles an hour. The last year, there was an intrusion at this office. Two unidentified individuals made off with 1,500 styrofoam cups. Not going to let that happen again. So I was hired to ensure the domestic tranquility of this office. And that's what I intend to do. Hostile threats will be subdued in any means possible. Well, I was on the road for like 50 hours, and I made about two stops. So as you can imagine, I had to go. Pretty bad. Oh, oh, what is that smell? Did somebody burn a burrito? I think somebody died upstairs. Somebody definitely burned the burrito. Oh, oh, oh. I've seen worse. I haven't smelled worse, but I've definitely seen worse. Conference room in five. All right, everybody. This is our new pastor, um, Wayne Kaufman. Yes. I'm sure we're going to work together really well. Wayne, would you like to say something? Yeah, I would. Um, first off, I would like to thank the committee that hired me for this position, and especially the head of the committee, Ned Rhodes. Thank you. Uh, no problem. It was, uh, it was a pretty tough decision, though. It wasn't a unanimous vote. Some people um, just thought you weren't qualified for the job, but it wouldn't be polite to say how I voted. Um, I'd like to talk about the budget right now, if that's okay. 
I really hope this guy can bring in some cash. I mean, we're down to our Monopoly money right now. A what? I was making light of our current financial situation. So speaking of the budget, does the high school group get a larger allowance this yeah, quarter? I haven't talked I think to the worship team could use a high budget as well. The missions fund is looking a little slim. It's because uh, the it's women's good. ministry is way overwhelmed. No one cares. Cry me a river. I think the intern should get a raise. Why don't we talk about the budget a little bit later? We should focus on getting to know Pastor Wayne. Would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself, Wayne? Yeah, I would, actually. Um, well, I was born in uh, Australia, actually. My Did you ever ride a kangaroo? No, I, I, oh. I didn't do that. But, um, yeah, I was actually born to a traveling missionary family, and I got to see so much of the world, and it was just great to be raised in a home where, you know, good Christian values and just be able to see a bunch of cultures and stuff like that. It was, it was, it was awesome. My family's actually stationed in Barrow, Alaska right now. Do you know Sarah Palin? Sure. Cool. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had to drive down through Canada to get here. It's no way! Place. I'm from Canada! Oh, Canada! Hey, I've got a package for um, Nate Purvis in Children's Ministries. Nate Purvis' office is down the hall to the left. <laughs> so, next Sunday morning, um, is that, are you ready to preach? Yeah, it sounds good. I should be ready. There's a bobcat in the office. Did you say a bobcat? Oh my gosh, we have to shoot a cancer. Shut up! The handles. Guys, I think we should pray. I've slain many a beast. This situation, no different. Although, my duel with the man bear pig was almost beyond my abilities. Well, Romans 8.28 says, All things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. So I guess somehow on my way down from Alaska, um, a bobcat got in my car. None of this would have happened if Reverend Sasquatch would have just stayed in the woods. This is probably the scariest day of my life. A popcat's death stare? Overwhelming to say the least. Oh, I still gotta deliver these packages. Is this children's ministry? Yeah, got your package. So it turns out that the Christmas musical I had the intern order was from a Mormon publishing company. Yeah, Mary and Joseph Smith's journey to Bethlehem, Utah. I get fired for this. How was I supposed to know Joseph Smith had anything to do with Mormonism? Hey Chris, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, yeah. Alright, hey come on in. Close the door behind you. Oh man. So we got a deal. Do it. 